Okay, so you just heard David Weppard's press conference about opposing congestion pricing, and the, he mentioned placards. Just your response to, to the whole issue. I, I didn't catch the placard uh, part, but right. it, it, it sounds like uh, it sounds like uh, same old talking points. Uh, and there's just too much at stake to, to get bogged down in these false allegations. Here's what we need to do. Get $354 million, jumpstart transit improvements, get us on the road to more buses, better subway service, less traffic, cleaner air. Oh, those are my talking points. <laughs> right. And what, one of the, the critics had said, we have small businesses on our side, you guys don't, and, and kind of issue like a, a, a challenge. Of that. Did demonstrably false, unsupported by the facts, by history. Uh, I'd be happy to give you phone numbers of you know small right. business people you could speak to. We've got somebody here from an LDC in the Bronx uh, that's a big proponent of this because he recognizes the big difference it'll make for industry and for businesses in the Bronx as well as for his neighbors. Uh, so absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And and what and what about the votes in Albany? I know that's like a very, like a political thing, but do you think it, like just how do you feel about it passing Albany? I think the odds are influenced by the stakes, and in this case, there's a lot at stake. Um, Three hundred fifty-four million in federal money to get us going on the road to better transit. And and frankly, hours and hours of people's time waiting on subway platforms, being away from our families, not getting what we want from our quality of life, not getting what we deserve. If the legislature doesn't act, then those are the stakes. New Yorkers that are stuck waiting for trains will know this is the reason why. New Yorkers that are stuck in traffic will know it's because congestion pricing wasn't enacted. New Yorkers who are rushing their children to the hospital with asthma because they breathed in too much air pollution will know nobody acted to support congestion pricing when the opportunity was there to get $354 million from the federal government to get us better transit, cleaner air, get us a better quality of life.